Hola everybody, I'm Juan Carlos and I'm a commercial fashion advertising photographer. Today I'm doing something that's way overdue. I'm going to do the ultimate what's in my bag. And we're going to go see my cameras, my lenses, the bags themselves, and stick around to the end because I've got an awesome giveaway uh, sponsored by Think Tank that we're going to be giving away at the end of this post. Um, so check that out, I'm really, really excited. As you guys can see, I've got a ton of my bags here, and basically I'm just going to break it down one bag at a time. We're going to go through them, and if, you've got, if you guys have any questions, shoot me out an uh, email or DM me, and I'll try to respond, or even in the comments below. So, with that being said, I'm going to make some room, because this is just like too much stuff, but I'll, I'll get to all this amazing bags in a little while. One by one, I'll go over everything. You guys will have a great idea of all my gear and you know why I use the different bags that I use. But I'm not starting with this bag. Um, I will say that this is my new favorite travel bag. And it's uh, this brilliant bag from Think Tank. And it's basically, uh, I'll talk about this later on in the post. But this is what we're giving away. That's right. One of these babies right here. So with that being said, ugh, here we go. The first bag that we're going to jump into is this bag right here. This is the Naked Shapeshifter. It's the 17 gallon and it's the Verse 2.0. And this is basically, as you guys can tell, you know, this is a typical backpack, but it's really not that typical. Um, so most backpacks, when you open them up, on the inside, it's got like different pockets where all your gear is nice and tidy. Um, this bag is slightly different, and I'm going to show you guys why. Okay, one of the big differences here, and one of the things that I really like about this bag is if you guys can tell right here, this is kind of cool. Um, this is an extra support for the lumbar region, but also these can pop out and I can wrap these around my waist and it, it helps me, but I can also go and um, pop out something else that I'll show you guys in a second that'll connect underneath this and that'll go around my waist. Let me see, let's start what's in my bag. So one of the things that's in my bag, in this case, it's a camera strap. This is from Black Rapid uh, and it's actually really nifty, very comfortable camera strap uses a system that connects from the bottom of the camera. So I like these quite a lot. Ah, filters. So we always need all kinds of filters, right? In this case, this filter is from MeView, um, and they're a cool company that I found a couple years back at Photokina. And basically, this filter right here is a two-in-one, so it's an ND filter and a polarizing filter all in one um, as you can tell, you can go and can control everything from here. So I've always got, you know, a polarizer and an indie filter in my bag. And then, basically it's just tons and tons of batteries. Uh, I've got at least five or six batteries. Uh, this is a little low pro case. These are great because I actually need another one of these because my batteries fit perfectly in here. I like the center where they are. But now what's interesting about this bag was this. So I usually keep my GFX camera system in here. So that's my medium format camera. It's a fairly bigger camera than my other cameras, kind of bulky. So, and recently I've actually downsized on the amount of lenses that I have. So I'm, I'll be showing you guys the other options that I have in this bag. This setup is really cool because in reality, I'm going to take it all out so you guys can see, this bag is actually empty. So it, it, it's called the Naked Shapeshifter because it has nothing inside the bag. As you guys can see, it's completely um, empty. And what happens is after these little um, speed changer cases, like this case right here, they go and they actually, uh, you know, this has got Velcro like this. And this is super handy because this then goes and it connects inside the bag. So I can have these little cases inside my bigger backpack. So real quick, I shoot with medium format. So that's the GFX 50S. 
uh, from Fuji. Um, and because I don't have that many lenses, uh, I've actually just recently switched this out to another case, which I'll show you guys in a second. So in this main case, I have my camera body with the grip. Then I keep, this is a lens case duo. Um, so, and it's called a duo again, because I can either open it up from the top like this, or well, open up from the side, I mean, or I can open it up from the top and it opens up like this for quick access. So again, it's, um, it's really practical, these little cases. So this is the 120 macro lens. It's probably my favorite lens of all time. It's what I shoot with practically everything every day. It's my workhorse. Um, for when I'm shooting commercial work and portraits and stuff like that. Uh, so again, I like it because it fits in this little case right here. And then, you know, even though I say I shoot a lot of stuff in the studio, um, even though I shoot a lot of, also on location when I'm in fashion and stuff, but for eight years straight, I photographed for an in-flight magazine for TAP Airlines. And so for them, it was really useful. I would be using this backpack. But then I'd go and I'd switch out all my uh, lenses and bodies and I'd put everything around these belts. So if you guys can see this belt right here, uh, it's kind of nifty because I can easily then just go really put the belt around here and boom, I've got all my gear right wrapped around here. So it's, it's quite um, handy. Interesting enough, because I don't have that many lenses currently, there's no need to have a lot of stuff in here. So right now, as you guys can see, I've got the 120 that slides in here. I've got the GFX 50. And then the other lens that I have is the zoom lens. Um, and this is a 32 by 4 Again, medium format lenses. So I don't need a lot of lenses to have in this bag. And then one of the bags that I own is this. This is the retrospective. Um, and it's the retrospective five. So it's basically it's a smaller little shoulder bag and I use this mostly for my mirrorless camera. Interesting enough, I actually ended up switching this out a while back and now I use it mostly for when I'm shooting um, stuff for social media. So I've got like this tiny little stand in here from three-legged thing and this is basically a stand to just put like my mobile device on top and that's really what this kit is right now. When I was recently looking at bags and I wanted to get a new bag for my GFX series that wasn't as big as my backpack, I was looking at the retrospective and I ended up picking up this and this is a retrospective verse two or version two I should say. And this is really great because as you can see right here I can basically put everything I need into the one little bag. So boom, boom. I've got obviously lots of camera cards. Um, and the way I do it, I actually, I have a tendency to keep any cards that I'm using uh, that are, haven't been used will go into this hard case. And then I'll have an, another case that will be empty. And basically I move my cards from used to empty, uh, depending on a different little uh, card carrier that I use. But anyway, going back to this bag, so here, really quick, I mean, that's it. So with the one bag that doesn't have to be as massive as the backpack, I can put my whole medium format kit in here. And, you know, there's a couple things that I like. The strap that the bag comes with is um, padded. Uh, it's got this little grip to it so that it doesn't fall off her shoulder, which is really nice. Um, it's got this extra little uh, clasp here, which is handy to grab it. Um, this has got a pocket in the back that should be enough for me to put an iPad in the back over here. Uh, this is actually really neat. So this is a cool little feature. See this right here? This, if I need to put it on a carrying roller case, for example, I'm traveling, I can slide this through my roller case, and that's a great way to carry it. I really like this a lot. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite new bags. Something else that I like that's quite nice, over here you can see from the side, this is an actual 
collapsible water bottle. If you guys want to see, I'm actually going to grab my water bottle that I use on a regular basis. Thank you very much. So this is my regular water bottle. And as you can see, this has got this little pouch right here. And that's it right there. So that's pretty handy and nifty. And then this has something also that's really cool. So depending um, what type of photographer you are, for example, you might need a photojournalist. And if you notice, this makes a lot of, see this? Because of the Velcro, which is great, but it makes a lot of noise. And when you're shooting, let's say you're doing, um, you know, politics, or you're photographing um, sports and, you know, like tennis and can't make any noise. Well, if you've got a backpack or a shoulder bag like this with Velcro, it's going to make a lot of noise. So they've got these great silencers. And like this, you can then go and put the silencers on it. And this can be closed and you won't have this issue with any noise. So these silencers are a great, great option. Also, something else that's really cool that's new that they didn't have this in previous version is they've created this extra little closing patch right here and this is actually has a zipper so you know let's say you're traveling and using this as a travel bag you don't have pickpocketers trying to put their hands inside your bag you know something like this because it's this great little zipper right here and if you don't want to use this this flap can either go like this because it's got a little bit of velcro that goes like that or you can also just put it underneath here and it'll be protected. Plus, obviously, you've got tons of dividers on the inside. Um, over here, you have all Think Tank bags come with an extra rain cover. Uh, so this is cool, and basically, it's, um, it's a little rain cover that folds out that it comes with. And then you've got tons of places for batteries, cards, lots of storage, a um, couple more zippers here that'll cover up the back. So again, it's tons and tons of storage in a tiny little bag. So yeah, this is actually really cool. I just got it recently. As you can see, it's quite small, pretty comfortable, and that's the retrospective 20 gallon verse two. With that being said, moving on to my next bag. This is actually one of my older bags, and it used to be my camera bag. So my bags usually go through a process, right? Uh, I love all kinds of different bags. Before I was traveling a lot, I needed a roller bag, and this was the ultimate roller case. This is the airport takeoff. It's a great bag because it's got this feature right here, so it's an awesome roller bag, but it also has this other great feature right here. If need be, I can turn it into a backpack. It's traveled with me all over the world, but recently, I've been taking less gear with me. I've been wanting smaller bags to travel with. This actually moved on from being my regular uh, meeting format camera bag to being my only travel bag. And now, actually, I use it for my gimbal, if I'm not mistaken. So it's in here. It's really not that well organized. It's all kind of thrown in here. But you guys will get an idea. It's a bag with lots and lots of storage space and then yes um, this is where I keep my gimbal and that's it it's kind of a massive bag for the gimbal but it's um, I've had this bag maybe for 10 years maybe 15 years and as you can see the wheels are still perfect on this um, you know she's beat up or she's used but she's still very very much um, a working camera bag. So I'm, um, if you need like something bigger to travel with, definitely uh, the airport takeoff series is a great series. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So moving on real quick. Um, this is a really cool, neat little bag, which originally when I picked it up, I thought I was going to use it mostly for my mirrorless cameras. My mirrorless cameras almost all go inside this bag, which I'll show you guys in a second. So that being said, um, I wanted something with a really small profile that wasn't too bulky, wasn't too big. Um, they sent me over this. 
This is the turnstile number 10. And currently I use this basically as my creative bag. The bag itself is really simple. So it's got a pocket here in the back that this can be used for like a mini iPad, your wallet, something, your passport. Um, and then here you've got a smaller little casing that you can put like any documents or anything you might have. It really doesn't have too many dividers or anything. And that's it. It's a really, really simple bag. This is a brand that I've been working with for about a year now. They are a super cool company that's called Light Painting Paradise. And basically that's exactly what they create is all kinds of different fun accessories for painting with light. Uh, I actually have an awesome promo that you guys can use. I'll drop that promo in the link below. But anyway, so I've got everything from my fiber optics to different um, flashlights that are really cool. This is actually kind of funny. Um, I've got a really proper light painting paradise flashlight. And then I've got this one that I bought at the uh, dollar store. And this one I got for free at an event that uh, Canon gave away. And I, it's interesting to see the differences between the lights. This quick tip, if, you're, if you do light painting, you should always photograph in dark locations. And sometimes that makes it difficult to control the camera. So this is something that I always um, recommend. This is a little light that connects to my head and I can be hands-free, see what's going on with the camera, and then quickly do some light painting. So I always add um, one of these to my kit, it's kind of helpful. And then light painting is really cool because you can take a normal light, add some colored um, gels, and you've got super creative light happening. And then you've got all kinds of different accessories. So for example, this is going to create an effect. This piece of acrylic is going to create another effect. And the amount of effects go on and on and on. And again, as you guys can see, a ton of accessories. All of this fit perfectly um, inside this little think tank case. So again, I like having all my gear really divided by the different brands, by the different subject matter. I don't like mixing up all my lights. Uh, I like having certain bags for specific gear and equipment. So like, you know, if I'm gonna go do light painting, I know that I can grab this bag and pretty much everything I'm gonna need is in one spot. Um, so this is part of my creative kit and it's just, you know, really fun to have it all in a little bag and it's easy to take with me anywhere I go. So you guys can um, follow the link in the post and I'll have a great percent giveaway if you want to buy anything from Light Painting Paradise and it helps me out and I appreciate it. So with that being said, I'm going to put all this gear away in here real quick um, and then we're going to move on to our next bag. Right, so the next bag we're going to be talking about is my hard case waterproof it's from sk uh, b cases and i really love it because not only is this hard case on the outside um and this has got you know all the regular regular amenities that these cases have so it's got this top handle to be able to grab it here it's got this side handle to be able to grab it here makes it easier um it's got this that slides up so that we can actually just haul it from one place to the other and then finally, um, I always like a hard case because I can stand on top of them and use it as an um, apple box if need be, if I'm like on location or something. And recently, um, these are really great because not only do I have a hard case, and then it's got an awesome backpack on the inside. So real quick, let's see what's in my bag. There's a couple of things. Um, I use a, this is a camera strap but it's a for black wrapping and it's a double camera strap. So for two cameras and for when I'm shooting weddings and events, that's when this comes in handy. Uh, so that's here. Another thing that I always carry with me and I tell all my students this is I always keep a tiny little reflector. Um, this is from Westcott. It's their two in one 14 inch reflector. And you guys are thinking, but Jerome, that's such a small reflector. What do you actually use that for? And I actually use this for when I'm shooting products or sometimes I need a little bit of fill light. Uh, I need to add a little bit of catch light in the eyes. 
And that's what I'm going to use this tiny little reflector just to give me a little bit of catch light. So I've always got one of these uh, in my bag. As you can see, this has got tons and tons of uh, little pockets and places to put stuff away. This is actually kind of cool. If you're not familiar, even my think tank bags, they'll come with this. So for example, uh, this is actually for batteries, but see how this has got this little hook right here? This hook hooks here, and like this, you're not losing anything. So I can hook my batteries, maybe my memory cards, and that's really practical. Now, in this camera bag, I don't necessarily have all of the gear that I usually use. Because I'm shooting with two cameras, I've got a number of lenses, and all my other mirrorless uh, video gear is all set up, and that's what we're using to shoot. But you guys still get a little bit of idea of what I keep in this bag. So for starters, tons and tons of batteries. Um, and these are two battery cases, and we just need lots of batteries, and that's what I have here. Uh, another thing, this is quite practical. Again, if you guys can notice, I love these um, these little cases from uh, Think Tank. Uh, I can keep lots of different stuff in here. And in this case, this is a tiny little off-camera stroll that I have. It's my Profoto A1, and I always keep it in this little case. I have a single camera strap, so when I only use one camera, it's a little bit smaller than the other one. Also from Black Rapid real simple and um, because I am such a geek and a nerd with my camera gear I actually have three different uh, straps for this camera setup. I also have this strap and this is a leather double strap and basically when I'm shooting a wedding I, uh, I use this one or for events. Right so from this kit as we saw I've got the 90 um, I love this lens it just has a beautiful bokeh so this is awesome then other lenses in here this is kind of interesting so this is the 35 millimeter it's like a 50 it's at 1.4 so again really great lens uh, beautiful bokeh maker o almost all of my lenses for this series are fixed um, this is a 23 millimeter at um, f-stop 2 this is really great lens and because my xt3 is silver that's basically why I got this lens. So that's kind of cool. And then here we have the wide angle. It's a 14 at 2.8. And again, another really nice lens. And then I've got my final lens here, which is more of a creative kit lens known as the Lens Baby Trio, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So it's the Trio 28. And basically this has three different lenses in one. Um, so I've got a sweet, a twist, and a velvet and all of these lenses are in one so it, it's a really super fun creative lens it does all these like crazy effects one thing that i really 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 love and i talked about it earlier and i'm going to show you guys again is i love fuji instax and i love the possibility of me shooting on location and being able to go and give somebody their picture um, i love shooting in the studio with the model and without her really realizing it taking one of my favorite photos doing a little print and handing it over. Um, so this is always part of my kit. And then, memory cards. This is packed with um, 126 megabyte super high speed cards. And then I've got most of my cards in here. Um, and then when I'm done, I pass them to another card reader that's got a lot of information on it so that I know that it's full. Moving on, so this is in like a little box, a little camera bag for in this case, I actually use this case only for my audio equipment. So here I've got everything from cables, microphone, my recorder, which I probably should be using right now, but we're actually recording directly to the camera. And then I've got, this is a little case for all of the microphones and audio and all that stuff. Um, it's my lapel mic and the one that I have on that I'm using right now to record this. Um, and everything basically is all kept in this little case. Real simple, and that's it. So this is my audio case. So we're almost done. I've gone through my gear bags, I've showed you my favorite backpacks, my favorite rolling cases, we've gone through all that. Now it's the good, 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 good stuff. So, this is a brand new bag that I just received. I actually haven't even, um, 
used it yet. It's literally out of the box, and I'm showing you guys right now. So this is from Think Tank. It's part of their brand new retrospective travel series. So I'm going to be showing you guys a series of different bags, and it's they're great because again they they've got a really good travel vibe to them. This is like this little tote that we can use for weekends. It's got this stone wash that I really love. And then on the inside, you've got a pocket that you can add little extra stuff into. It's a massive pocket. So this is just a really nice little weekender bag. And I'm going to be using this definitely for New Year's weekend and coming Christmas. This is going to be part of my new travel toolkit. Now, the next thing that I really love, and it's brand new, and I'm super excited to share, which is this. So as you guys can see, it's from the same series, the Retrospective Travel Series. These hand straps here are really nice, and these are uh, coated in leather. And again, it's comfortable and really nice. It's got more pockets here on the side. So you've got more pockets over here. And again, it's a really nice weekend travel bag. Yeah, I've been needing one for a while, and I'm excited that the folks at Think Tank sent one over. I like this bag so much, and I felt this was so cool that something awesome happened. It sent me another bag so that I can give away. So I've got one of these to give away. And what do you got to do? You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You've got to like and subscribe to my um, Instagram account. And go like, subscribe, and show the love on the Think Tank Photos Instagram account. So if you like and follow these three accounts, I'm going to be randomly choosing a winner and you guys will have the opportunity and the chance to win this duffel bag. Um, I am super, super excited. For those of you who don't have a chance to actually get the duffel bag um, on the giveaway, you can follow my links below in the descriptions, and I'm going to be um, giving you guys some links directly to where you can purchase them with discounts and um, with all kinds of really cool stuff. So, yeah, this is awesome, and I'm really excited about the giveaway, and I hope you guys um, like it. Smash the like button, subscribe, follow, and I'll see you guys soon.